Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Sonic Forces. In the latest issue of Famitsu, new information about both it and Sonic Mania were revealed. However, not much of the Sonic Mania information was that new or that interesting. On the other hand, there were a few new details released about Sonic Forces, thanks to both an article and an interview with Takashi Azuka. So this comes to us from TSSZ News and was translated by Source Gaming. And the details include that the third character in Forces will be an unexpected character. Sonic Boom Sonic is not in the game. However, the third character plays an important role in the story and embodies the overall features of the game. The boost system from Sonic Unleashed is present, as well as stages based on reaching the goal and clearing them in a certain time limit also seems to be present. Classic Sonic stages are based on side-scrolling 2D action, and apparently they will also have a twist. Sonic Forces will also be at E3 this year, so we'll be able to try that out pretty soon. The Sonic Forces story summary from the magazine says, Dr. Eggman took over 99% of the world. Sonic and the Resistance members are fighting, then another Sonic appears. It then talks about classic Sonic appearing, classic and modern being two different styles, and then there being the third one that we mentioned before. Morio Kishimoto is the director of Sonic Forces, and he was the one that designed Secret Rings, Black Knight, and Sonic Colors. He also directed Sonic Lost World. Sonic Forces has also been in development since 2013 and started around Sonic Lost World's release. Forces was chosen as a subtitle from it meaning power and army, since two strong forces, Sonic and Company vs. Eggman, are facing off in the game. They also consider 2017 with its release of Sonic Forces and Mania as a continuation of Sonic's 25th anniversary. These are still considered 25th anniversary games. And fortunately, the game won't be all dark and gloomy. There are some lighter stages and forces. So that's everything that came out about Sonic Forces in this Famitsu issue. And it sounds pretty promising. I'm very curious who the third character is going to be, especially since I say it's unexpected. So in my mind, that kind of leaves out Tails or Shadow. So who really knows who we're going to get? Hopefully the playable demo at E3, which I'm assuming there is going to be a playable demo, really shows off what the game is going to be capable of. But with all that said, what do you guys think about this new information on Sonic Forces? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Sonic and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye.